Now time to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. A popular pancake mix and syrup brand is retiring. Maybe you've heard the makers of Aunt Jemima acknowledging the brand's racist past, which started more than a century ago. Quaker Oats finally announcing it is retiring the Aunt Jemima brand. It's been mired in racist stereotypes from the very beginning. Let's connect the dots. It started back in 1889 when two men, Chris Rutt and Charles Underwood, came up with the idea for the first ready-made pancake mix. Rutt went to a vaudeville show that year and saw a performer in blackface wearing an apron and a bandana singing Old Aunt Jemima. That's when he reportedly decided to give his pancake mix the same name. And while Aunt Jemima wasn't real, the stereotype certainly was. The original packaging featured Aunt Jemima as a mammy, a caricature with deep roots in Southern racism. A mammy was often portrayed as an older African-American woman who was devoted to the white children she cared for, a stereotype that was not rooted in the brutal reality of enslaved women. The company did hire a woman to portray Aunt Jemima in 1890. The 56-year-old former slave signed a lifetime contract to travel the country promoting the product. More than 130 years later, the product is finally being pulled from store shelves. And that is Connecting the Dots.